how much are you looking forward to tomorrow's challenge? And on a personal level, um, you've been uh, you sort of been the manager's preferred choice this season. How good is it to have that for a long run of games? Absolutely, mate. Yeah, obviously it's uh, it's a huge game tomorrow. We're all uh, looking forward to it. Um, a, a massive test for us. Um, we've uh, we've had a, a busy start to the season. Um, we're in a good place uh, with what we've done so far. Um, for myself, of course, like you say, it's great to be getting the games um, and uh, you know enjoying that. Um, trying to build week on uh, week and week. Uh, and hopefully tomorrow, uh, myself uh, and the team can all put in our, uh, our our best version of ourselves, a good performance, and, and go and get the result we want. Hi, John. I just wonder yeah. how important you think it is not to allow that five-point gap between yourself and your opponents to open up this early into the season. Yeah, as always, we uh, we, we look at every game uh, as as very important, as a must-win. Um, th these league campaigns are always going to be. Close run. Uh, we've seen it over the last couple of seasons um, that the old firm games can can play a big part in in that final um, you know placing. Um, they can have a big say on what happens in in the league. We know it's uh, it's early days in the season, as you said, but they're always important. Um, of course, we don't want to to allow any sort of gap to open, um, and more than that, we don't want to to go into any game. Uh, and come away with less than the three points. So uh, regardless of that, we're, we're going into that game tomorrow to, to go there and win. John, obviously Celtic uh, rampant last weekend, 9-0 against Dundee United. Um, how would you compare uh, your opponents tomorrow from the side from last season, would you say? Um, uh, you know, I think we've, we've looked at, the, at, their, at their team. Um, I think they're, they're playing in a, in a similar vein to the, to the way that they were last season. Uh, I think you know, um, for the most part, their their squad and their team uh, are very similar uh, in that sense. Um, so you know, we uh, we know their strengths and, and their weaknesses. Um, we've we've worked hard on on what they're going to bring uh, tomorrow, and uh, and we feel confident and prepared for that uh, that test. John, you've uh, looking at your career. You've you've come up the hard route. You've come, you've done the hard yards. Coming through that career, do you think that's prepared you properly for the uh, for the big games against Celtic and Ajax and Aberdeen that you're going to be going to be playing now? Um, as you say, I've uh, you know I've had a fairly long career now, um, played a good number of games at, uh, at various levels, um, been involved in a lot of big games along the way, um, a lot of high pressure games, high pressure moments if you like, uh, at different levels and different degrees going forward but um, I think at the end of the day until you, uh, you, know, until you experience these tests first hand you never know. Um, you like to think that you're, you're, you're playing at this level and that you're being picked in these sorts of teams and these sort of clubs on, on the merit of your ability um, regardless of what's gone before uh, and that you've got to trust in that. Uh, I'm, I'm fully prepared, fully, uh, you know, fully ready for, for, the, for the tasks ahead. Really looking forward to it, uh, to testing myself along with the rest of the guys. Um, and uh, yeah, we're excited for it. And uh, you know, we're, uh, we, I think we all feel, not just myself, that, that, that we're more than capable uh, for, for what comes ahead. Obviously, you get your first experience of this fixture in the Cup semi-final last year. There are going to be a couple of debutants, uh, you would imagine, tomorrow, Malik and Antonio in particular. How will they handle it, do you think, especially in, the, in that environment? Hopefully, they handle it, um, handle it well. Um, you know, I can't speak for them, um, but they've, they've shown their quality. They've played at a, at a high level themselves, uh, you know, with, the, with the clubs that they've come from. Um, the competitions that they've played in. Uh, I'm sure they've played in a lot of uh, big high pressure games themselves and equipped themselves well. So far this season, they've, they've, you know, the, the lads that have come in um, have, have handled the, the pressure of playing for Rangers very well, um, shown that they've got that confidence to go and, and you know, put their mark on games. Um, so I'm confident in, in you know, everyone that, that we've got that's going to turn out uh, in this fixture, that they've got what it takes to, to handle that pressure in that environment. Hi John, um, both teams have been fairly free scoring so far this season and uh, when a team does win an old firm match it tends to be that the winning goalkeeper has to have a really good game. Are those the kind of matches that you look forward to as a keeper, the, the high pressure ones, the ones where you're going to have to be busy and make big saves? Uh, I think obviously yes, you're always going to look forward to, to these old firm fixtures. 
Um, it's a huge part of what draws players to come and play for these clubs. Um, it is, as you say, the, the, the big tests that are going to come your way throughout the season. Um, and as you say, you know that um, the likelihood is that you're going to have to play your part um, in, uh, in a good performance. Um, but as we've already seen this season uh, through our European games, um, that you know, as a squad, as a team, we've been performing well as a group. Um, and you know, yeah, you're preparing yourself to uh, to make sure that you're there um, as and when needed. Um, but as a team, uh, we hope that we can go out there and put in a performance uh, that's that's complete from 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 back to front.